Hey, Copilot, what are we watching? Hey, Judd, it looks like we're watching a video where you change the way your viewer here uses their Windows 11 computer forever. Should I give them an outline of what to expect? Nah, I got it from here. Check it out, guys. What you just heard was Windows Copilot with voice. But the crazy thing is, this is just one of four things that I think you should be doing with your Windows 11 computer like right now. So it's crazy, but the day is here where we're actually able to talk to computers like this by just saying, hey, Copilot. Hey, Jetner, what's up? That's my guy. And this voice feature works in the ways that we're familiar with when speaking to a digital assistant. But now this one works with the context of everything going on with your computer and then some. So you can ask your random questions like, hey, Copilot, what's the weather like in New York tomorrow? Hey there. Tomorrow in New York, it's gonna be cloudy with a high around 62 degrees. Definitely sweater weather. I'm not mad at that. And this is dope because while you're at your computer working on whatever you're working on, you can ask it random things without needing to pull out a web page and do a Google search or even open up Copilot to ask certain questions. One example, actually, earlier today when I was working on this desk setup, my desk was giving me an issue and from underneath the desk, I was able to ask it what a certain error code was that I was seeing over here. And without having to touch a thing over here, it spat out the answer and troubleshooted it like that. Usually performing a reset involves lowering the desk to its lowest position and holding the down button for a few seconds to recalibrate. Okay. That is game-changing behavior. Let's say you're watching a YouTube video, you can just ask it questions like, hey, Copilot, when's the Xbox handheld coming out? The Xbox handheld, known as the ROG Xbox Ally, is coming out on October 16th, 2025. But that part is so cool to me because you can actually do things with your computer without needing to touch it. That's why I love smart homes. But here's the thing, it doesn't just stop at voice. There's vision too. Now you're probably wondering, Judd, what do you mean by vision? Well, you can actually use Copilot's vision, what it can see on your screen, and have it help you out. A quick example, right? If we were to watch a video and you see some awesome scenery, you wanna visit there one day, uh, you can just ask, hey, Copilot. Hey, Judner. What's on your mind today? You can just see right here, there's a little icon. So you just go ahead and click that and then you can pick what you wanna share. So whether you want to share the entire screen or maybe just a window, whatever you're more comfortable with, if you're concerned about privacy, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. And now I can just ask Copilot, what are we looking at? Where is this couple standing? What is this park? This image appears to show the George Washington Bridge, meaning it's likely Fort Lee Historic Park in New Jersey. This park offers stunning views of the bridge and the Manhattan skyline, making it a popular spot for locals and tourists alike. All right, lovely couple, can you confirm? That is correct. That is where we were, yeah. That. That's wild. So basically it's taking what's on your screen as context to answer whatever questions you might have. I'm curious, I'm just gonna, this is random. Hey Copilot, what kind of tree is that on the left? That looks like a large oak tree. They're known for their sturdy trunks and sprawling branches. Notice the lobed leaves? That's a key characteristic of oak trees. What's got you curious about it? I don't know. <laughs> so you can see, it can take a look at whatever is on your screen, whether that's asking about the location, asking about something specific like the tree. So you can ask it to identify things, but you can actually take it a step further and maybe help you with something more important. So let's say you're a student, you've got some homework, you need a little bit of help. Hey, Copilot. Hey there, Judner. What's on your mind? Can you help me solve this math problem? Absolutely. Let's solve it together. So nine minus nine plus one gives you the final answer, one. And that's dope because it gives you a full breakdown on how to solve the problem and it gives you the answer. But what's also kind of cool is if you go back to Copilot, you can go back and get the transcript of the exact way he went and solved it. So that's sick if you need some help with some homework, you can even ask it to quiz you on stuff like this. Hey, Copilot, can you quiz me on this? Absolutely. Let's break it down. Three. Nice work. So you guys can see it helped break it down a little bit, ask for my involvement, and then let me know if I was correct. And that's dope, but it doesn't just have to stop at math. If you need help, like remembering a, a passage from a story or something, you can have it help you do the studying to make sure you've got everything down. Now here's the thing, you can have to get even more involved in something that you're doing. So check this scenario out. So I've got an email here about a trip to Paris, and I've also got like, you guys know me, I got my tech bag, right? The things that I like to take with me everywhere. I carry a ton of gadgets all the time, but we're gonna see if Copilot agrees with my list based on what I've got going on in this itinerary 
screen and just see if make sure I've got everything covered. So, hey, co-pilot. Judner, what's good? So with everything that I've got in my packing list right now, do you think I'm covered for this trip? Looking at your email, your list looks thorough. Just make sure you've got any specific gear for capturing content and an international adapter. How's your camera gear situation? Yeah, I don't have my camera gear listed on this, so it makes sense. My email is about capturing content. So it's taking that context and putting it into what it suggests so that I can make sure I get everything done while I'm on the trip. That's awesome because it doesn't know I need camera gear. It doesn't know I'm a video creator, but based on the email and the context that it sees with its vision, it's able to give me steps and things to think about as I go through getting ready for this. That is going to change the way people interact with the content on their computers. Now, this next feature is so useful. If you've ever wanted to do something on your computer, but you didn't know how, you can ask Copilot and it will legitimately walk you through the steps while showing you what to click and show you how to do it. So check it out right here. We've got a little poster on Canva and I'm not a huge Canva user. I probably use this like once, but I can ask Copilot to help me do certain things like, hey, Copilot, how do I make the pearls in this poster brighter? Can you show me where to click? I've highlighted the edit option for you. Click there to adjust the brightness of the pearls. Now, what do I click? I've highlighted the adjust button for you. Click there to brighten. And then right from there, I can see brightness slider and I can just adjust the brightness of the pearls. That little arrow pops up is going to show you exactly what you need to click, what you need to do, and then you can follow the next steps. So that is awesome. So if you don't know how to do a certain thing, it literally points you in the right direction and all you have to do is click it and do the rest. And that is so clutch if you wanna do something but you don't know exactly how. It's not limited obviously to Canva, It's pretty much anything that is on your computer. So in my mind, it's cool to do different tasks like this, but I also think it'd be awesome for folks who aren't so tech savvy. To be honest, I'm thinking grandma, grandpa, maybe even my dad when he has some questions, they can actually just ask Copilot how to get certain things done. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's say we jump into our settings, right? And grandma needs to make the text bigger. The text is just too small. So we can just ask Copilot, hey Copilot, Hey there, Judner. What's on your mind today? I want to make the text on my screen bigger. Can you show me where to click to do that? All right, Judner. I've highlighted the display option for you. Click there to adjust text size and other display settings. Can you show me what to click next? I've highlighted the scale setting for you. Click there to change the size of text, apps, and other items. What percentage should I click? Let's start by selecting 150%, which is the recommended size. Let's boom and we've instantly got bigger icons bigger text easier for grandma to see that's absolutely amazing can you imagine no longer getting those tech support calls like the calls are great the tech support not so much this is one thing that could finally make it a lot easier for folks who don't know what settings to jump into where to do this ask copilot and it pretty much guides you there and literally points you in the right direction so for me i love that it can show you how to do things highlight specifics and pretty much help with anything that's on the screen. Now I gotta show you guys my favorite way to use Copilot and it's of course gaming. So over here we have the new Xbox handheld and this is basically a PC, but in a handheld form factor. Let me show you guys why this is crazy. All right, so now that I'm in a game of Minecraft, all I have to do is hold down this button right here and that activates Copilot gaming. So do you see the game I'm playing? Yep. I sure do. I can see you're right in the thick of those Minecraft hills and valleys. So if you need any pointers on where to head next or how to warm up your game world, just say the word. All right. So where do I go next? Well, your average consumer, I'd say let's keep it adventurous. It looks like you got a cave entrance not too far ahead. That might be a cool spot to dive into and see what treasures or resources are waiting in there. I like that when I'm playing a game, it switches over to my gamer tag instead of just my regular name. You'll also notice that the UI changes so that it doesn't get in the way of your game. You don't want that bigger bar while you're playing game because that'll block your UI and the stuff that you want to do on the game. But let me ask, Copilot, why did I turn red just now when I fell? Ah, so in Minecraft, when you take a little tumble or take some damage, your character flashes red briefly to show you've lost a bit of health. It's just the game's way of giving you a heads up. Are there weapons in this game? And if there are, where can I get some? Oh, absolutely. In Minecraft, you can definitely get yourself some weapons. It's all about crafting them or the resources you gather around you. So grab some wood, 
start crafting those basic tools and you'll be swinging a sword or axe in no time. So you can pretty much ask it anything and it'll guide you to whatever you're trying to do. What's awesome about this is that this works for like any game. This isn't a Minecraft specific feature, but it knows everything that you need to about the game that you're playing and can answer all kinds of questions and give you tips. That's really cool because you can jump into any game and still get the kind of help that you would want from somebody who knows better. Exactly. It's like having your own personal game guide right there with you. No matter what game you jump into, you can ask away and get the help you need on the spot. So you can get all kinds of game help right from Copilot, but there's another aspect that makes Copilot gaming really useful. If you're in the settings and with PC gaming, you want to tweak your settings to get the best performance. And if you don't know how, you can just ask Copilot, how do I get better performance out of my game right now? What settings do I change? All right, Judner, you're in Minecraft video settings right now. So to get better performance, you'll want to turn on favor performance, which I can see you got highlighted. Also consider lowering that render distance a bit from 24 chunks down to maybe 16 or 12. That should give you a nice little boost. And just like that, it's giving you specific things to toggle on and off, what values to hit so that you're getting the better performance that you are looking for. And that's dope because if you're not somebody who's familiar with PC gaming settings, that could be really useful. Like I didn't know what those chunks were, so that was really helpful for me to hear. And this is why this is one of my favorite things about Copilot. Having a built-in guide, no matter what game I'm playing, that's dope. But I will say, kids these days are gonna have it too easy. Struggle, we were in the trenches trying to figure out games. Good for you guys. I'm not mad at the tech. So you guys saw throughout the whole video, there are a bunch of different Windows 11 devices that you can use Copilot on. So if you haven't tried it out, like go try it out right now. Pro tip though, if you have a Copilot Plus PC, it'll actually perform even better with Copilot. And if you're on the market for a new computer, check those out so you can get the max performance out of it. But I have some links down below so you can check out even more features and things that you can do with Copilot that we didn't get a chance to talk about today. But that about wraps it up. Go start talking to your computers. It's crazy.